16th Street and 7th is probably the the most dangerous part of South Phoenix. Nigga, that's the headquarters. Uh, my pops was more than one like, can't go nowhere, you feel me? Don't be out long, come get me early and stuff. Shit like that, just uh, always tell me like, pay attention. Uh, shortly after that, my grandma had passed away, so then that's when I started making music and stuff. At that time, after Southside Baby Drive, I didn't really know how like, uh, the music and shit work like, you know, like with the network and stuff. Yo, 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 what's up, man? It's your boy Chi Chapman with the Chi Chapman Show. We at Media on Mill. This is my first interview in the new building. Um, I got a very special guest. Uh, one of the youngest niggas in charge. Uh, doing some crazy shit for South Phoenix, for Arizona. Um, just dropped the album, Chrissy Son. We gonna get to that in just a minute. I want my nigga Lil Tron, the South Side, youngin' in the game, the youngest nigga in charge. We here, what's good fam? Talk to me, what's going on? What's good, man, I appreciate hey. you pulling up to the platform. This is way, way overdue. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you for having me. Man, man we had Media on Mail, man, the Chi Chapman Show, man. I'll tell you. Man, for the people that don't know Lil Tron, and I know you going crazy right now. Uh, tell people about your upbringing and where exactly you from. From the south side, man. Best yes. side of the city, man. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, sir. But uh, specifically on like 16th Street and Southern. For real, that's where I grew up at, my grandma's house. Okay, okay. Uh, single parent ho household, both parents? Both parents there. My that's grandma and grandpa. All been right. married for a minute. That's what's in like the eighties or some shit like that. That's what's up, man. Your childhood, man. Let's talk about that. Like, how, what was your your upbringing about when you was a younger? You feel me? Uh, shit. Hmm. Nah, shit was uh. I was uh. My bad, bro. No, you good, bro. <laughs> Take your time, bro. Take but, uh, your time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah nah, nah like I get to I get to thinking and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But not a. Uh, uh, shit, just playing, playing in the yard for us to be just over there at my grandma's house with my dad, my uncles and shit, you know, Big Mark. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, bro. So, yeah, yeah, man, you know, us coming from the South Side, man, you know, coming from everybody considered South Side the ghetto, the hood, you yeah. feel me? Um, talk a little bit about that, bro. Just you, Southern, Southern is a, that's, that's a big part of yeah. South Phoenix, Bahamosa Park and you feel me? 16th Street, that's probably, 16th Street and Southern is probably the the most dangerous part of South Phoenix. Nigga, that's the headquarters. Yeah, nah, niggas be on bullshit over there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. I'm mean, uh, right. Upbringing, how was, how how did your, um, like you said, you grew up with your, your grandma and and your pops and mom, how 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 strict was they on you being outside and influencing with the wrong crowd and, and that type of shit? Uh, I say I think my mom was more loose with it, like as I was like getting older and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But my pops was more the one like, can't go nowhere. You feel me? Don't be out long. Come get me early and stuff. Shit like that. Just uh always tell me like pay attention you feel me yeah 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 so, yeah he's like instilled that shit in my head like watch your surroundings all the time so that always make you think like oh some shit going on you feel me just got to be ready and then my mom's was more like you know our mom's is just yeah go yeah, yeah, <laughs> go do what you're gonna do and shit go chill have fun that's what's yeah. up what what elementary school did you go to nevit Oh, you Elementary went to Nevin on the Foles. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How, how was that experience, man? That shit was fun, bro. It was fun. I met a, still cool with a lot of people that I met there. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, yeah. man. Uh, high school. You Before the cameras cut on, you said you went to three different high schools, man. Yeah. I went to Mountain Point my freshman year, uh, ninth grade to halfway, halfway through 10th grade. And then I went to South the rest of my 10th grade year and junior year. And then I graduated from McClintock. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. What, why was you switching so much? Uh, honestly, I was hooping, bro. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Mount Point, you know, Mount Point, big school. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't really that good back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, then I left to South, and I was able to play at South, and I just kept shit, working my way up. And then I moved to McClintock. Just chasing it. Chasing it. Did, no you go to, did you go to college after that? No, I didn't. You didn't fuck around? No, I did not go to college. What, what was your life like after uh, high school? Oh, man. I was still hooping. I was trying to, uh, cause I was taking a gap year. Uh -huh. So I was still hooping after high school, like trying to 
uh, figure I was working out with different colleges and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but shortly after that, my grandma had passed away. So then that's when I started making music and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I had just been chilling, working out and stuff. Before then, post then, like 20, all the way up to the end of the year to 2021. That's what's up, man. Uh, speaking of your grandma, man, um, you dropped an album called Southside Baby. Yeah. And your grandma was all over the album, man. What, what is, how much does she mean to you, bro? Everything in the world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Miss her. She funny old lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of shit that, uh, she taught me a lot and stuff. It all like trickled down through my pops and uncles and stuff. And just all their ways of teaching. They teach the same way. They country and shit. They from Alabama, my grandparents. So, you know, they got the country teaching and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And you said you dropped you you started dropping music shortly after she passed away. Yeah. Um. And what year? What, what year did you start start doing that? Uh, beginning of like twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Um. Yeah, it seemed like she was a very heavy influence on on on, on your life and your upbringing and yeah. and your career and all of that type of shit, man. Um. Mm -hmm. With your passion for music, when you started recording, um, is is your grandma the reason why you jumped into the music, or are you just Something you always play with? Uh, I always felt like I could do it, but I was just doing shit, bro. I had to start smoking all types of shit. Yeah. So I'll be with my homeboys and shit, and they would be freestyling and stuff in the car. And I'm listening, but like I'm saying shit in my head. I'm like, I could do this shit, bro. Easy. Yeah. Like that shit just, that shit come too easy. And then shit, I just start finding beats I like, and I wrote to them. And then, uh, I finally start. I I used to be shy and shit, bro. So yeah, I yeah. finally start showing like a couple of my homeboys I used to be with every day, and we would be freestyling and stuff, smoking. And they was like, "Bro, that shit hard, bro." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like uh, off like Southside Baby Two, the song Phony, like the second song on there. It's like one of the first songs I ever recorded. Yeah, yeah. But I had been writing. I never. I didn't go record for like some months. I had just been writing, 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 and then. Uh, Big Mark, he was like, we gotta go to the studio. Gotta go crazy with oh, it. Him and Trip. Man, your sound is different, bro. We oh, yeah. we we uh we get put in this box in Arizona to where we don't have a sound. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody wanna sound like they're from Detroit. Everybody wanna uh sound like they from Atlanta. Yeah. You have a different sound, bro. Your sound yeah. is very unique. Um your engineering um is crazy, man. Let's let's talk about like your sound, man. Like, what, what would you? How would you describe your sound, man? Uh, shit, I don't know. How would I describe my sound? I don't know. It's different. I do a lot of. I say I'm versatile. That's what I shoot for most. Uh, I don't even really be about the sound of me. It just well, do, but about just do, being able to do a whole bunch of different shit. You feel me? That's what's up, man. For real, for real. What you dropping Southside Baby, man. Um, like I said, man, I, I, I've never met you. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I seen you on Instagram going crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I gotta figure out who this kid is. He from the side, he chunking up the S. You feel me? I'm from the side. You feel okay. what I'm saying? And uh I'm hitting my little brothers up. They like around your age. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey bro, y'all know little Chum, my cousin Devon. I'm mm -hmm. hitting everybody up. And then I seen you with Tori Masters. You feel mm -hmm. me? I've been knowing Tori for a minute. I'm like, bro, I got to figure out who this kid is, and we need to lock in as soon as possible because I got some people that I want to put him in the room with so they can definitely get his career to take off like crazy. You feel me? And I seen you had a couple little young niggas around you that I know. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I'm like, yep. I got I to gotta, I gotta do something with this kid, bro. Yeah. So when I have had first hit you, man, what was, what was your, like, in your mind, like, who like who was this nigga? You feel me? Uh... Marcus and them knew you already, but shit, I was just, at that time after Southside Baby Drive, I didn't really know how like uh, the music and shit work, like, you know, like with the network and stuff. Yeah. So anybody hitting me up, nigga, I'm like, oh shit. Nigga, yeah, like, yeah. That's just moving me off my music. Like, damn, I didn't know I could even do that. You feel me? Yeah. So it was just like, yeah. And I was just embracing the love, my nigga. To be real. That's what's up, man. I remember when we was, uh, Trying to do this record, man. Uh, 
we booked a session at the salt mine and, I, yeah. and you pulled, that's the first time that's the first time that we met man yeah. and uh you was with one of my little brother homeboys gavin his name little, little gavin yeah yeah and uh that's the first time i met you bro and we mm. and that's when we was about to start that record who you know yeah but well, yeah. we had pushed that back so yeah. much bro yeah. so I first met you, bro. It was good energy, man. I said, this little nigga, he, he, he's, he's dope. You came in, did your thing. And then um, we kind of sat on that record for a minute. And then uh, I had a fight party at the crib. When yeah. we put up to the crib. And yeah. I had all the homies there. Uh, Call Will, put you and Will on the phone. Yeah. Um, and I had been trying to get my boy Eric O'Connor to fuck with you, too. Yeah. Um, Around that time, I'm like, man, this this little nigga is very talented, and I want to see this little nigga win, man. Yeah. Um, with that record, who you know, we end up putting it out with FBC Jabo, man. Um, produced by my boy Tony Pushing Keys, my boy yeah. Twan. Um, how was you feeling about that record, man? It was hard, bro. I was proud to be a part of it. Yeah. And then too, uh, uh, it was interesting to see how like uh, me and Jabo will be able to clash on the yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Was that y'all first song together? Yeah. So and that's crazy. That, I think that was always like my thing too, bro. Because um, I ain't no A and R or nothing, mm -hmm. uh, but I love putting pieces together. I've been doing this for a minute. Yeah. Um, but I was like, man, the two hottest niggas in South Phoenix. Yeah. I need to put these two dudes on the record. Hit my boy Twan up. Twan cooked up that old school beat for us, man. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, this is a fucking record. This is. This is gonna go. You feel me? Yeah. Um. We sat on it. We sat on it for a while, man. And then when I finally hit that button, that's all it was, man. <laughs> the reaction was pretty cool, bro. I got a lot of people hitting me up. Uh, it was a lot of plays on the inter uh, on the on the streaming platforms. Yeah. So I was like, man, we need to really. I wanted to shoot the video, but I didn't. We didn't really have time to do all of yeah. that type of shit. Um, it's kind of hard getting everybody together because everybody yeah. working, got their schedules, kids, so yeah. on and so forth. And then, um, so we sat on that record, we put that out, and then I had told you, man, I tried to click you up with Will. I said, bro, I'm going to get y'all two niggas on the song together, <laughs> bro. Let me let me work my magic, man. Um, Will sent me a few records with the record he sent me for Sunset in the Valley, you know, because we, you know, we from the Fiend, we from the Come Valley. <laughs> so he sent me that record. Yeah. I sent it to you ASAP. And I think you just you knocked that shit back out, sent it to me. Yeah. Um, and we end up, me and Will end up putting our he had a single dropping and I and I had that single dropping with we put our singles out on the same day. He like uh -huh. I was trying to see if he can push his shit back, but uh -huh. I, his shit was already uploaded to iTunes, my shit was already uploaded to iTunes. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going against a giant, but shit, <laughs> it, it it is what it is. So we put that record out, man, and that record went it that record went crazy, bro. Oh, I think I think the reaction from that, everybody vibing, bro. Everybody how how did your camp feel about uh, uh, those fucking with it? Feel about that record. Yeah, that says great song. That's what's up, man. Great song, great tunes. Yeah. Oh, and then I wanted to shoot the video to it, but we just we'll hear, we hear, like man. it's just a <laughs> just a timing thing, bro. Oh, but God. I just man, I I just really wanted to see y'all two niggas together because y'all both my both my homeboys. Yeah. I've been knowing Will since a pup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before before anything, you know what I'm saying? So to see y'all two niggas on the record going, trying to battle it out. Yeah. You know who got the best verse? Even then, see, even yeah. with that shit, I'll be trying to like, feel me? I gotta, I know I have to do my thing. You feel yeah, me? Just yeah. I, and that's a big opportunity right there. You yeah, feel me? for sure. He one of the ones. You feel me?